Now I've had in my possession for the past few months, the Javelin Bipod from Spartan Precision. Now it's an ultra lightweight carbon fiber bipod. So if you're on the lookout for a bipod, keep watching. Coming up, we shall take a closer look at the bipod, a quick unboxing, looking at each part in turn, fitting the bipod, also taking a look and fitting of the Jane long legs. And to finish off, some troublesome rabbits taken using the javelin. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so the javelin comes in a rather fetching box, nice and compact. The carbon fiber and alloy javelin bipod. Three rubber plates for varying styles of stock. Three screws, a wood screw, UNF screw and a metric screw. Allen key that fits the three screws. And finally, the universal adapter. Now three rubber plates applied. Each plate has a slight curve to suit more stocks. And the universal adapter designed to sit snugly into the rubber plates. Nice and tight fit. Three screws. When fitting the adapter to the stock, one of these screws will replace your existing QD stud. Locking lever for the javelin. I do prefer this to the standard thumb nut on the javelin. On this when tightening the cant on the bipod. So the javelin is made from 70-75 alloy and carbon fibre. Now the alloy strength wise is comparable to steel and also has the added benefit to be corrosion rust resistant. Stock to ground height, the javelin standard version gives you a height of 6.5 inches and 9.5 inches extended. Now each leg is adjustable to any height that suits your needs. Removable rubber feet on the javelin exposes the tough tungsten carbide spikes, ideal for more hard surfaces when extra grip is required. Now the rare earth magnets located on the upper legs and inside the housing of the javelin almost silent in operation. Simple to operate, strong connection. Now you've got built-in cant, easily adjustable. Let's say I have large hands and sausage fingers. Uh, the locking lever is easier to operate. Better leverage, I do prefer the locking lever. Now the machining on the javelin is excellent throughout, no burrs, all smooth lines. And the universal adapter, when fitted to the rifle, the javelin has two fittings when attaching. One has a swivel function and the other for more static shooting. And it's easier to show you that in action and that will be coming up later in the video. And finally the quality made leather and neoprene belt pouch. When on the move, simply slip the javelin snugly inside the pouch. So that's a quick unboxing of the javelin standard bipod. Now consisting of tough lightweight 7075 alloy carbon fiber legs, universal adapter, also other adapter options are available. Uh, Built-in cant and rotation, strong earth magnets, extendable legs, lightweight to boot, coming in at a 5.22 ounces. Now fitting the universal adapter takes a matter of minutes. Uh, remove your QD stud, select which rubber plate best suits the style of your rifle. Now on the CZ style, I am using the metric screw that's supplied. Now with the adapter snugly fitted into the rubber plate, simply screw to the full stock. Lastly, fit the rifle sling to the adapter and that's it. So that's the universal adapter fitted. Let's get out and take a look at a quick attach, detach of the javelin bipod. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, just before I show you how you attach and detach the javelin bipod, the rifle is unbolted and the breech is clear. Uh, for this demonstration purposes, the rifle will be pointed up in the air. You have it pointed down. Right, so this is your javelin bipod, and it's so easy to attach. So you're walking along your stalk, simply attach, and there you go. It's as simple as that. And then simply to detach it, bit of a tug, there you go, put it in your pocket. So again, you're walking around your shoulder, in your pocket, there you go, bipod attached. Now if you just remember, quick tug, the Spartan logo facing forwards, you do get your swivel. And if you turn it this way, more for target shooters. Really simple system, works a tree. It comes a second nature really just to put it on. Very light. Again, little tug pulls it off. Spin it round. There you go. Very nice. Pull it off. Pocket. Now you can get a pouch for the javelin bipod, but I do find maybe over time it will become a bit looser to slide this in. It's very tight fitting, it's a well made pouch, but I do find just by putting it in your pocket it's a lot easier. I mean, there's absolutely no weight with this. Um, but there's a belt pouch. Uh, I don't really wear belts, uh, I wear those special types of trousers with elasticated waists. Uh, but I just find slipping in your pocket is just as easy. There you go. We have the extendable legs, just so simply lightly unscrew and tighten back up. Same again on the other one. There we go. And they're adjustable, so you can have them at any height. So if you want one leg there, slightly unscrew. One leg there, slightly tighten again. There you go. Optional for the javelin bipod are the Jane long legs. Again, carbon fibre, ideal for sitting. Uh, weighing less than 110 grams, tungsten carbide feet again, and the twist locking system. Now, really simple to connect in the field. Now, in the hunting segment coming up, I've used the long legs on the javelin to good effect on the warrens. Easy to fit just by unscrewing the carbon fibre legs off the javelin, fitting the Jane long legs, simply sliding and a few turns engages the twist locking system. Now you have three options when purchasing the long legs, 46 centimetres, 53 centimetres and 56 centimetres. The ones here are the 46 centimetre legs. Now these will give you two usable heights of 47 centimetres and extending to 57 centimetres. Now the legs can be attached and detached in a matter of minutes. Okay, so that's the fitting and unfitting of the Jane long legs. Coming up, some rabbit pest control shots and a troublesome fox in the final segment. That's some cracking head shots. No suffering, nice and steady aim, using the legs. Now distances vary from 60 yards to 70 yards. Uh, rifle used was the CZ style. Now 
And finally, a Fox Dispatch using the CZ Ebony 223. Nice, clean dispatch. Incidentally, that shot was using the Javelin standard. Uh, the Jane Longlegs wasn't fitted that evening. So that was the Javelin standard bipod from Spartan Precision. Ultra lightweight hunting bipod. If you're on the market for a bipod, do check them out. Uh, I've been using the Javelin mostly on my nighttime pest control with my Yukon Photon. Um, the attach and detach of the bipod in the dog is easy. Uh, just by touch alone, uh, the Javelin slots on every time. It's a nice touch. Uh, now the Jane Long Legs are optional. But again, I am finding they are great to use when sat at the Warrens. Uh, no added weight to the bipod using the legs. Overall, the Javelin is an exceptionally well-made bipod. At Spartan Precision have reinvented the wheel where bipods are concerned. Excellent.